Hello everyone, this is Anomaly from the $5 Journey. Thanks for tuning in. I just wanted to go over something really quick. I wanted to go over compound interest. Now I know I've spoken about it before. It's of course spoken about in the $5 Journey, the book. Go pick up a copy or download it on your uh, Kindle. Um, but I wanted to just really, really go into compound interest and I wanted to kind of explain um, what it is, but I'm not an economics person. I'm not a, uh, a financial expert or anything like that. So I just wanted to break it down how I understand it and hopefully you'll be able to understand it just as well. All right. Compound interest. Basically, well, what interest is? It's, it's, um, it's, it's payment for the money that is being used that you put out. So if I, so let's say someone needed to borrow a thousand dollars from me and I say, okay, all right, I'll lend you a thousand dollars, but you just got to pay me back 10% interest for using my money, for borrowing my thousand dollars. So if, uh, if we were talking about simple interest and you know, I lent them $1,000, they would pay me back the amount that I lent them, which is a thousand, plus 10% extra on top of that, that's simple interest. So they would give me back in essence $1,100, okay? So that's $1,000 given to them at a 10% interest rate, it's simple interest. So they're giving me the amount that I gave back, that, that I gave them, which is $1,000, plus 10% for the use of my money. So that's, that's interest. So the bank, when you guys deposit money in the bank, you know, savings account, checking account, CD, you know, they normally give some sort of interest rate and the interest rate may be at 1% or 0.1% or something along those lines. And um, they're giving you that interest because they're using your money, actually. Uh, if you go into it a little bit more, I don't want to digress because then I go off on these tangents and don't get back to my point. But um, <clears throat> if you want to... Not to digress too much, but um, if you want to look up a little bit more on banks and what they actually do with your money and how much they're making off your money, you know, feel free to Google it. There's there's tons of information out there. Um, you'll find out that you're probably getting a little bit ripped off depending on the bank that you're with. All right. Um, but anyways, I digress. Uh, so so interest is basically you're you're. You're giving out your money for something. Could be in the bank, could be for just a personal loan, could be whatever. And in return for the use of your money, they're giving you back the, the, the institution, the person, whoever is giving you back an interest rate for the use of that money. Okay, so um, with compound interest, okay, compound interest, I gave the example of 10%. So, um, uh, and that's if, if, you know, when I was saying that if I lent out money and, you know, I said, okay, yeah, you can have the money, but it'd be a 10%. Well, compound interest, what it is really is it's not only giving you, let's say, um, I lent, I lend $1,000 out or I give $1,000 out and then I want 10% back at the end plus the amount that I give, which is called my principal. My initial amount is my principal. All right, so I, I don't just want the thousand back, but I want 10% on top of that. So it's, that's $1,100 pretty much. So it's $1,100 back that I would be getting. What compound interest does is, it actually, over a period of time, there's a buildup. So it's not that I would get my, and it's not that I would get that 10% back and that's just that one time thing. Uh, with compound interest, what you're doing is you're charging 10%, but over a period of time. Okay, so um, the period of time could be, you know, let's call them increments, all right? And let's use, let's actually use this example that I have up here. So let's pretend that the amount of money that, that, we're, that we're going to invest that we're going to have someone use, that we're going to allow a financial company to use or some other company to use or a personal loan, right? So let's pretend that we start off by giving out $1,000, all right? We're lending out $1,000. We're giving, putting $1,000 into a mutual fund, into a CD, into real estate, into whatever, okay? And our, our return, our, our interest rate of return is going to be 12% every year, okay? So now, 
$1,000.12% if it was simple interest, okay? If it was simple interest, then at the end of it, we would get our $1,000 back plus 12% of $1,000, which is $120, okay? 12, uh, 1,000, 12% of that, when you add the two numbers together, you get, you get end up getting $120, or you, you get, um, let's see, 1,000 plus $120 is $1,120, right? $1,120, that's what you would end up with. Compound interest is different, and it's, this is, this is um, interesting. So let's say it's 12% over the course of a year. Now, how many months are there in a year? All right, there's 12 months. So what compound interest would do is, it would say, okay, after one month's time, so after one month, right, at 12% interest per year, all right, so what that would mean is that every month you're taking a piece of that 12% and you're applying it to your principal, which you initially started off with. So, um, so there's 12 months in a year at 12% interest per year, right? So what it would be is 1% interest every month on your initial amount. So it would be 1% interest. So let's look at, see what compound interest actually does. Okay, so it would take that $1,000, it would add on the 1% interest, right? So it would be 1,000 plus 10 to give you $1,010 for that first month. So after a month, you would have $1,010, okay? Now, so in month two, we're no longer starting with 1,000, we're starting with $1,010. So then $1,010 plus 1% 1 on, not on the 1,000, but on the $1,010. So that will obviously give you more than just the $10 that it gave you in the last month, right? So what it ends up doing is it ends up giving you $10.10, okay? So then you take the $10.10 and you apply it to this $1,010. And so your new amount going into month three is $1,020.10. Then you add on the 1% to that and it gives you this amount, $1,020.10 plus $10.20. Okay, so now, you know, you kind of get the hint. So let's jump all the way down here to month 12. After 12 months, all right, you get what you will end up with, if you start off with $1,000 at 12% per year, you're gonna end up with $1,126.83. Now, you say to yourself, well, that almost seems about 12, like 12%. Because if we did the simple interest, $1,000 at 12%, right, would come out to $1,120, okay? That's simple interest. Compound interest gives you an additional $6.83. Now that's after the course of the year. So you may say to yourself, okay, well, that's not a whole lot anomaly, you know, that, I mean, $6.83 over a year, I mean, come on, what could I possibly do with that? Well, that's, that's actually the beauty of compound interest because it doesn't just take a snapshot of just that year, but over time, over 12 months, over 24 months, over 72 months, over 120 months, right, at 10 years, all right, this stuff, it, it's, it's giving you extra interest. That's why the longer it stays there and as longer it's able to grow, the more, um, uh, the, 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 the bigger difference this compound interest amount will be versus a simple interest amount will be. Okay, so I urge you to today start an Acorns account, start a Stash account. Start um, one of those accounts that can actually get you that compound interest, okay? Because actually, here's the thing, that a lot of those companies aren't doing compound interest every month, all right? They're doing it actually throughout the day, sometimes throughout the week, so on and so forth. So it only makes a slight difference in um, pennies, you know, uh, you know, over, throughout the difference between, say, um, a, a month and a day, but it starts to build up. It starts to gather that momentum, 
okay, so that you continue to increase from one step to another, all right? Remember, with the $5 journey, it's not about just that one day. It's about the progression over time, the financial progression over time, adding in the compound interest, adding in the compound hustle, adding in those strategies that we talk about, okay? Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to, um, to, to like us on Facebook, join us. Um, I also post a lot of the content that I talk about from the book on Twitter as well, so join me there at Anomaly197711, all right, 197711, all right, at Twitter. Okay, thanks so much, and I hope you got a lot from this. Thumbs up this video if that's your thing, if you like it, and be sure to leave a comment below. You know, I'm always looking for ways to improve. Thank you so much.